Like, is that a thing? Like, is that really a thing? You go to the concert to sing along? I didn't know that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hi there, I'm Rachel Moore. I'm from the USA. I came to Korea almost two years ago and I'm working in the entertainment industry. I am also a singer-songwriter. I have seen many musicals and some concerts and it's very exciting because I used to watch them on the television in America and now I get to see them up front in person. That was last year. I went to the Asian something or other. It was a multicultural festival featuring uh, many Asian countries and the main attraction, of course, was uh, Shia Kim Jun Su. I didn't hear about that, no, but I imagine that it would probably be really fun for the audience. And they're singing along with their favorite singer, which is probably really exciting. And I imagine as a singer and performing artist, it's really thrilling for the artist as well, because, uh, you know, to know that their fans love them that much and love their songs so much and they sing along, I think that's thrilling. Okay. Oh, you know, Korean audiences are like really, the fans are like fantastic. They're so involved and they're so excited. Look at them. One person on stage and look at the huge fan base. And they're all singing the songs. But look, they all know the songs and they're all singing. Millions of them. <laughs> look at how many fans there are. I mean, I just, that's gotta be a really nice feeling, you know, when everybody knows the song and they're singing along. Like, is that a thing? Like, is that really a thing? You go to the concert to sing along? That's really, you're going because you can sing along? I didn't know that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. No seats, you gotta stand up. I like those things that they have in their hands. Uh, you know how to hold up your cell phone? <laughs> Well, you know, they must listen to these songs a million times. How do they know the lyrics so well? I'm an English speaker and I don't even <laughs> pick up on the lyrics. Just the culture. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. I'm surprised at how they know the lyrics. It makes sense. If you're a fan of an artist, then you want to listen to everything. You want to learn everything. You want to be able to sing the song. So it makes sense. I mean, I'm a fan of K-pop artists, but you know, when I sing along, I'm just going la 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 or something because I don't know the lyrics. It's hard for me to say the lyrics, but they're singing along really nicely. I mean, you can hear a whole crowd of people just singing as one body, which is really, really nice. And uh, for the artist, some of them are really enjoying it, what I could see. They're actually reaching out to the audience, trying to pull them in and enjoying this kind of fandom that's happening. Other artists are singing, you know, and they're kind of into themselves doing that thing and they're not really grabbing the audience. Maybe they're appreciating it somewhere. As an artist myself, I think if people were coming to see actually me and not me, but actually to hear my songs and they knew my songs so well that they were singing singing along, that would be really thrilling. I mean, I would certainly put the microphone out there and say, hey, you sing this one, you know. Uh, if in the US they have that kind of culture, you know, I think every artist has its fan base in every country. I also used to live in Israel and Israel is a big singing society and they will sing along with everyone. And also I see when foreign artists come, wow, they can't get enough of it, you know, so I think, but in America, I have only attended a few concerts um, of big artists when I was much younger. Uh, I've gone to a lot of folk concerts and in folk music circles, people don't really sing along unless they're asked to, unless they're invited to. They mostly listen, but I think in big rock concerts, things like that, you'll see them singing along for sure. And some artists will, you know, put the mic out and try and bring them in as well. But do they go there specifically to sing along? I don't think they're going there specifically to enjoy singing along with the artist. They're going there to see the artist, to be, to experience the artist, to be part of that. Some people People just want to be in the audience. I have friends who go and they sit, they get as front as in the front row as they can because they just want to be close to the artist and they don't care like they're getting pushed and shoved. They said, oh, that's part of the experience. That's why I go. I want to get pushed and shoved. I want to be in that atmosphere. So it's kind of different. So. <laughs> Well, that's uh, something new, you know, just show up and we'll sing for you. We'll sing your songs for you. That's a new concept. I have to think about that one. That might be kind of cool, actually. 
I've been to Japan only for a couple of days, and of course I live now in Korea. I don't know if that is a true statement or not, but I can definitely say that Koreans seem to have more fun <laughs> at concerts. They're a little bit more free. I haven't been to a concert in Japan, so I, I can't say, but Koreans are definitely having fun. I can say that. Maybe even so much as to drown out the singer. I'm not even the singer, but I got touched. They might feel emotional while singing. Yeah, definitely. I think that's true. True. Maybe even cry out of joy or whatever you're feeling, you know, it's going to move you one way or another for sure. So today I had the experience of watching a concert called a Korean sing-along concert and I hope you enjoyed my reaction, my response. And if you did, click like, click subscribe and see you next time. Bye-bye.